What's up guys, Edward Lewis here for TMZ Sports. In case you missed it, Ricky Pearsall, the 49ers star rookie, was shot over the weekend and miraculously, he was back at practice just a few days later. Now he's not exactly catching passes or lifting weights, he was only seen in street clothes and walking around. But again, it's a miracle considering a bullet pierced his chest and went through it all the way and exited uh, just a matter of hours before he returned to the facility. The suspect, meanwhile, in the case has been identified as a 17 year old. He's been hit with three felony charges, including attempted murder. And through his attorney this week, he said he's very sorry for his actions. Simone Biles had Bears fans in a frenzy earlier in the preseason when she showed up to a Bears game to support her husband, Jonathan Owens, wearing a jacket that had Green Bay Packers logos all over it. Now, this wasn't a diss towards Bears fans. It just happened to be a jacket that she had of her husband who used to play for the rival Green Bay Packers. But we actually ran into Simone Biles earlier this week in NYC and she said, don't worry everybody, I got this taken care of. Miss Biles, how are you? Hello. Have you gotten any Bears gear yet? Have yes, I have plenty now, so don't you worry guys. Biles previously said she was unsure if she was going to be able to make it to a bunch of Owens games this season because of the US gymnastics team tour. But if she shows up, better believe she's gonna be in that navy and orange. It was ludicrous night for the Atlanta Braves, and it was it was an awesome night. So Ludacris pulled up wearing his big arms from his Get Back music video, and he also brought out the Air Force One from his Stand Up music video. And not only that, it was a bobblehead night with a Hank Aaron jersey, a gold mic, and a gold watch on both wrists. And he threw out a perfect pitch for a guy wearing two fake arms. It was basically down the middle, just a little bit outside, but he was able to get it done. It was an awesome night for Ludacris as the Braves were celebrated as hometown music heroes within the city of Atlanta.